Hey guys, I'm Hillary Kennedy here with your Hollywood headlines, and of course, joining me is one of my favorite people, Mr. Thank Chris Thank you. Sapphire. Good morning. I want to give a special shout out to the guy who recognized me at the casino the other night. Hey. I hope you're watching. That's awesome. Yeah. I think because of him, I won 70 bucks. So thanks, man. Man, that's a good day. So here we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> good morning, everyone. Lauren Hill and Nas are ready to rule the world. The singer and the rapper have announced a joint North American tour to kick off in September. In Chicago, the Miss Lauren Hill and Nas tour will land in 17 cities across across the U.S. and Canada. The pair collaborated on the hit 1996 song, If I Rule the World. The announcement comes a few days after Nas posted a birthday tribute to Hill on his Instagram account. I'm so excited about this. I love seeing them back together. It's, it's the 90s are coming back. I, I've been saying it. This is exciting. I had wondered what happened to her for a minute. She totally fell off the map. Totally for a while. disappeared. And yeah. at the top of her career, too. Yeah. So it's good. Welcome back, Lauren Hill. I'm going to that. And my birthday, September the 9th. So it's right around oh, there. Perfect so timing. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. that's going to be awesome. Well, I do have some sad Hollywood news for you. Olivia Newton John, she's battling breast cancer for the second time. The star best known for her role as Sandy in the film Grease. Uh, she, was, she was set to hit the road in June for a U.S. and Canada tour, but a statement posted on her official Facebook page says the tour has been postponed. Newton John had previously been diagnosed with breast cancer in 1992. She was declared cancer free after receiving chemotherapy and a partial mastectomy. And since her own battle, Newton John has been an advocate for breast cancer awareness. So this is disappointing. And, you know, I think the scary thing uh, for her is both her sister and her father died of cancer. Oh, no. And for her to have it again the second time after having beaten it the first time, I know, is, is uh, difficult to swallow. But she's got such a fighting spirit. She's got a great group of people around her. She's got a daughter who they're very close. So I think she's got a great chance of beating it again. It is heartbreaking. What am my favorite singers, Anastasia, she battled uh, breast cancer twice as well. She overcame, thank God. So we're sending you healing vibes. Yes, this we day. are, Olivia. Yes. Well, we got some more Kim Kardashian news. Finally is letting everyone know when she knew it was officially over between her and her ex-husband, Chris Humphreys. I think like a lot of girls do go through that where they freak out and thinking they're getting old and they have to figure it out and all their friends are having kids. And so it was more of that situation. Um, but I knew, like, honeymoon, it wasn't going to work out. Yeah. On the honeymoon, you knew. Yeah. Right. The former couple married in an over-the-top August 2011 ceremony. The marriage lasted just 72 days before the reality star filed for divorce in October 2011. I totally had forgotten about this already. Because, I mean, truly, 72 days, that was the shortest, one of the shortest marriages Short. in Hollywood. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, at least she's coming clean about it and saying what happened. It's weird how I have forgotten about that. Yeah. All right. Uh, it looks like one of the biggest albums from the 90s is going to become a musical. A new musical based on Alanis Morissette's multi-platinum selling record, Jagged Little Pill, will come to the stage next year. The 1995 album included hits like You Oughta Know, Ironic, and Hand in My Pocket. And they're actually going to be making a book based on the album, too. And Diablo Cody, the girl who wrote the movie Juno, okay. uh, she's going to be writing the book. I love that album. It's good, right? I still jam to that. Hey, we were just talking about the 90s. That's there right. you go, some more. <laughs> well, those are your Hollywood headlines. Layla, back to you. I think I've told y'all my favorite uh, karaoke song is ironic. Oh. It is.